Welcome back to how to create a job board with formidable forms. In the last video, we learned how to properly route job applications to the job poster's email address based on which application was being filled out. In this video, we're going to make it so that job posters can view and privately comment on job applicants. We're going to create a new form called comments. So we'll enter that title here, and this is going to be a relatively simple form. We're going to add the rich text field. We're also going to add a dynamic drop down field. We'll call this applicant so that we can properly associate the comments with an applicant. We'll load the form entries from job application and we will associate it with email. Email is the most unique field in this regard. We'll hide the label and we'll make this visible only to administrators. Once again, we don't need the job posters to see this. They know based on the view that we're going to create who they're commenting on. We'll add that familiar short code to get param equals entry. Again, this grabs the URL parameter entry, uh, which is the ID of the job application so that we know whom to associate these comments with. So we'll create this form. And with our forms successfully created, let's go ahead and create the views that we need to create. And on views, we're going to create one simple view for the comments. So we'll call this applicant comments. We're going to use entries from the comments form. We'll click all entries. We're just going to display all of the comments. We'll add the heading here. And then we will fill this in with the rich text field. And we'll separate each comment with a horizontal line. We also need to filter the entries. So we're going to filter this by applicant. And we're going to make this get param equals entry. This will grab the ID from the URL and associate it with the applicant ID that we're storing on our other form. We'll save this, and then we'll go back to our views. You'll recall from the last video that we created a couple of views, one for uh, user job edit, one for job applicants, but the job applicants view must be a all entries or single entry view. It cannot be a dynamic view. So instead, what we need to do is create another new view and we'll call that applicant details. This will use entries from the job application and this will be a single entry view. Again, we'll filter this based on the ID. And this is going to be a fully detailed page for our job applicant. So you can see we're grabbing some information based on the fields we have available to us. This is our first and last name as the heading for the position and then the job title, which we're grabbing from our linked or dynamic field, the contact information, the position desired, and their resume, which is just a link to the short code associated with the uploaded resume. Now, what we're going to do is use the comments view that we created to display the comments. We're going to go to forms, click view, grab applicant comments. We'll filter the short codes within the view so the filter is limited and our comments are being displayed here. The last thing we'll do on the other side of our horizontal line is make it so that the comments form is pulled in so that new comments can be added. So we'll say add a comment. We'll make this a heading. And then we'll go to forms and add the comments form. With that, we'll click publish. So we now have our single view. We're going to create a page with that single view. 
we'll call it applicant details. And we'll pull in the view that we just created. Then we'll click publish. There's one more thing we need to do before we can properly view this page. And it's grab our URL and add a link to our job applicants view. So the slug for this page is applicant dash details. We'll go to forms, views, and then job applicants. We're going to make this name a link. So we'll go to our text view and we'll start to write the markup for the link here. A ref. And that's because we want to take advantage of some of the advanced fields that we have available to us. So under helpers, we have site URL and then we'll add a slash applicant dash details entry and then we'll need the entry ID, which we can grab here. So with our link created now, we'll click update and we'll go to our job posting page. We'll click on front end developer. You see we have a link now. And if we click that link, we're brought to a detailed page for John Smith, who applied for the front end developer position. We have the comment information and we'll add a comment. We'll click submit and you can see our comment was added and the comment is appearing here. So that's it for this video. In it, we learned how to create and link to a separate detailed view, as well as allow job posters to add private comments to job applicants. In the next video, we're going to use a similar approach to allow the applicants to create follow-up emails.